Hello you guys, what's up? I know this isn't the best lighting or quality in general, but um, today, um, I'm, so, I made a few weeks ago a video about Ruby Rose, and it was kind of more of a reaction, like, just disclaimer and stuff like that, and like, my thoughts on it, and um, what I have to say to that is, um, I have one for Blake. I asked about it, but you know, I decided I kind of feel, I kind of want to anyways, whether or not, you know, it's a big thing or people care about it so much right now. But I still kind of seriously want to kind of bring up the topic of Blake Belladonna because there are some people who hate her. <laughs> um, and I mean, I can get it. Everyone has their own opinion. So I'm just, you know, sharing mine because it's something I'm allowed to do as long as I'm not like forcing it on others, you know what I mean? So as long as I'm cool about it and, you know, just explain why I think something, it, it's fine. But yeah, no, uh, seriously though, if you have anything you want to tell me down in the comments about it, whether you agree or disagree, you know, it's cool too. I'll be right back. Uh, sorry guys, I had to grab a note of my notebook. Um, so, yeah. So I, I'm not going to go off this list, it's not going to be 30 minutes of me going against every single thing. I'm just going to occasionally glance down and be like, okay, so, like, okay, let's start off here. So, like, Blake's character in general has, it's established that she is someone who runs away. When she feels a situation is difficult, she, she doesn't know what to do and so she runs. It's just in her nature, it's, she hates it about herself, but she just does. Which, um, since Volume 5, she's trying not to do that and she's actually working on it and she's making strides in, in improvement. Showing that she's trying to leave that aspect of herself behind. So that brings me to the point of, like, in someone's video, I'll actually link the person down in the description. So seriously, check out their video. Even though I, I obviously disagree with it, hey, I figured why not. Um, but yeah, this person um, says, um, I'll turn in particular, a shameless, shameless coward. Um, shameless means lack of shame. Seriously, um, do you know Blake? Uh, her character is literally like in uh, Volume 2, Chapter uh, 9 or 10, one of those two. I, I, I watched Ruby plenty of times, I just offhand right now, um, don't fully recall. So I'm not even going to say like, oh I know for a fact in this episode, in this moment, I'm not going to be that way. I might even be 11 for all I know. No, it's definitely not 11. It's definitely 10 or 9. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, she herself like pretty much goes a little, it gets really emotional and saying like, it's true, even my, even my semblance is about me running away. I leave a, a shadow copy of myself to take the hit while I run. That's showing shame right there. Um, and yes, um, in a way she's being selfish, um, we're going to volume four here. She's being selfish in the way of running, thinking that, and in the thought process that all her friends should hate her because of the things that happened. Sure, that is a sign of her maybe taking everything, thinking it's all her fault. But she has reason too. Her past isn't a clean one, it's not a good one. And Adam is Adam. I really shouldn't have to explain why she would think that. You know, and like, she's not thinking, oh, the fall of Beacon is. She's thinking, oh, wait. Yang, she came in to save me. Adam, right before Yang lost her arm, told me he was going to destroy everything I loved. So of course, she's going to take certain aspects of what happened and put it on herself. And it's not easy to go and ask someone if they truthfully blame you or not. That's just a real thing. Um, like with the ruby, like, you know, the subtle things, you can't say that you don't see it. If you see something, that means there's something there. If the animators put something there, it's not supposed to be overlooked like, oh, that's nothing. No, no, everyone's different in a way of expressing their traumas. Um, Blake, uh, her traumas really, you show how she becomes skittish or like in her thought process. Because she is a person who will take things and put it on herself. She has no confidence in that matter. And um, so... So yeah, clearly told us she was pathetic runaway. Yeah, that was my points here. Cause I, I literally, so I sat here and I wrote back even. I was just so serious about my explaining of which why things. Um. Oh yeah, calling her a pathetic coward because she runs away. Once again, still on that topic real quick. 
because she saw someone she really cares about, her partner, who she was supposed to trust with her life, which obviously she, she did, she saw her arm get cut off by her abusive friend, possibly ex ex-boyfriend, from the sounds of it, I don't know. Um, that's cow uh, signs of pathetic cowardice. It's pretty much just her being her character, and once again, it's just, it shows the trauma. You know what I mean? It's just... Oh, and then, so when, in volume four, once again, so when, um, A, I think I've heard, don't, you know, you can go check this for yourself, but I've heard from another source, so really, it's just offhand, so maybe even take this with a grain of salt, but when Sun ruined the inter uh, interaction between, ah, my brother came in and scared me. What? Okay. Interrupted the talk, um, between her and her father, Sun comes through the door. I, I think at first may have found that funny, but as I kept watching it, I kind of, it irked me. <laughs> but anyways, so when that was interrupted, and the next time you see a son and Blake, Blake is slapping him. I've heard that that was a miscommunication or something like that, but like I said, take everything I say here with a grain of salt and like find out for yourself. I don't know, I'm just saying that there. But either way, she was having this very intimate and very personal moment with her father who she hasn't seen in a long time. And the last time she did see him, she was yelling at him, calling him a coward and stuff like that. It, it's just, of course she's gonna be mad. Whether it's irrational or not, it's it's something to be explained. Like, I'm not saying I'll slap my friend in the face if they did that when I'm talking, having a in personal moment with my parents or a parent. I'm, I'm not saying I would do that, but that's something I think I, I know people who would do that. You just have to accept the facts that it's going to happen whether we particularly want it to or not. Um, oh yeah. And so like, you know, the beginning when she slaps him after he helps her with the dragon fight. So before the father-daughter scene. For one, you have to know this was like a few, this was a time skip. So the fact that, um, you know, the fact that Sun's there means that he's been pretty much stalking her for a few months. I mean, if I found out my best friend, even if they were my best friend, was stalking me, I don't know if I'd slap them once again, but I definitely would be like, what's wrong with you? You, you should have just told me. <laughs> you know, like, that may be hard to say, I don't know, but it's just strange that that is something that would happen, and I don't know, I don't blame Blake on that one either. It's, it's something that just happens. When you think about it, if, would you want someone stalking you for months without telling you and then randomly appearing when you're like literally at one of like kind of probably the one of the worst moments in your life at the moment? It's like you 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 feel like you just want to be alone. You want to go and find um a common place. So trying to go with your family and then all of a sudden someone from your past, your recently turned traumatic past, just bam shows up and well, they've been stalking you. That's not something that you're going to take lightly. Um. Did the Yang, um, Sun is thinking she's not a coward, Blake gets mad. Oh, okay, yeah. So, this person made a point of saying, like, Sun's, like, thinking highly of her, and she's mad about it? No, that's not it. She's mad really only because of circumstance. She's not in a really proper or good state of mind right now. She's hurt and she's still scared out about what just happened, pretty much. And you know, like, yes, it might be nice to having someone think so highly of you, but you just want to, like, get away. You, you don't want to think about it. You want it to be far away. So having someone bring it up and, like, even think that you're going to confront them when right now you're really not even in the state to be by yourself, but that's what you feel you need to do, it's not something you want to hear. Sometimes compliments can be just as harmful as insults. I don't take compliments well, I never have. Um, so I kind of would understand that feeling a bit in that way. It's just something that, you know, ha happens. Oh, and he said pretty much relatively in these words, why is she so nervous around her effing parents? Because she left on such a sour note. I mean, I'm nervous around my family and I haven't even done anything bad. I'm just nervous around 
people. I'm just that awkward. Blake at least has a reason, while I'm just sitting there just socially awkward and having anxiety. And I'm like, I, I'm sorry, I can't be near you. Uh, you know, it's, it's just that things of, she left yelling at them. And she hasn't seen them since, and everything's went wrong, and like things they said would happen, happened. So of course she's gonna be nervous around them, especially her father, who was the leader, who was like, yeah, no, you should, you should, you should leave with us. And she, instead she yelled at them and called them cowards. You know what I mean? It's like, not something you're gonna easily be like, oh yeah, no, that's fine. Oh, and then like he went on to be like, all she did was yell at them and call them cowards. <laughs> and this was me. And then <clears throat> left them behind without a word. In that case, of course she's forcing, uh, she's effing, scared. She literally hates everything she does. She hates literally everything she herself does because she thinks that, like, literally everything she does, she, she may as well take the blame for because it it's all her fault. And then, yeah, like, the family thing. Okay, so then also mentioned, can't make her up her mind on the wife thing. She's never said she's not going to fight. She says she needs time. She's not going to do it right now. So of course, so when Corsic and Fennec come over and they're like, if you ever want to uh, join, it's a uh, river and fight. Um, and she's like, who said I'm done fighting? She never said she wasn't going to fight. She said she just needs time. So that statement was valid and it wasn't like, Make up your mind. I thought you said you weren't going to fight. That's why you came home. No. She wants to find a common place. She wants to mend some things. And she wants to get some courage back. Even if it's going to be difficult for her. And she, yeah, she never said she, was, she wasn't going to fight. She just said she was not having a hard time. And so, of course, she's going to be like, who said I'm done fighting? It's not something she shouldn't have said. Um... Oh yeah, and then literally goes and says, says she uh, she fights uh, she fights the White Fang even though she just said she wasn't going to fight. She says she didn't want to. She says she pretty much you know just wants nothing to do with it right now. But you know the fact that oh hey wait is that a fight White Fang member right in my tree right beside my house obviously doing some shady things. She's not going to be like, oh, I'll leave it. I don't want anything to do with them. Of course, even though she doesn't want to fight them in the moment, she's going to have to. She's going to have to go there and do it. Because otherwise she's just being ignorant to it. She's just going to be like, ah, whatever. It doesn't help your argument of she's being, she doesn't know what she wants anymore. It doesn't help that argument. It, it just doesn't. <laughs> um, and then, yeah. Yells at son when he regains consciousness. This is just her pretty much venting how she's felt after all this. She watched Yang get her arm cut off after being stabbed, and then she watches son get stabbed by one of her past best friends. <clears throat> uh, anyone would kind of just be like done with everything, especially when she blames herself for everything. It's easy to say, hey, it's not your fault, literally stop being selfish or... Um, self-centered, uh, stop being narcissistic, um, none of this is all about you. But when things from your past, your personal, intimate past, are what's causing things, you're going to, even if you don't want to, even if you're not thinking about it in a narcissistic way, blame yourself. I've been near, like, uh, like, little things or things happened in my past that I literally hadn't, I couldn't have done anything to change. Or maybe I could have, but since I didn't know what was happening, I, I didn't. And I blame myself for it, even though it, at, in that moment, there really was nothing for me to do. And I still blame myself. So I really relate to that part. It's like she she really shouldn't be to blame here, but because it's something that's related to her, she feels like it is. That's not being narcissistic. That's just putting a whole bunch of blame on yourself when you really don't have to. She's not saying, oh, the whole fall beacon was my fault. That was all me. Because it wasn't just Adam. She's really just talking about the part where, you know, <laughs> White Fang. Because in the end, like, Adam wasn't really coming for her. But in the instance of Yang, yeah, he totally did that because of Blake. You can't say that one was for anything else. You really can't. You... <sighs> So, um, yeah, let's go to the... I, I stopped writing. There's so much I could have write, wrote, but, you know. Yeah, narcissism. <laughs> Friends did this knowing danger. Yes, they did know uh, They did know about the danger. You know, it, it's a part of becoming a hunter or a huntress. 
Um, but it's it doesn't matter. They're still they're not 18 in, in, when this happened. They're still kids. They know the danger. This is what their first first year. They know the danger, but they're not expecting to have this warlike zone attack their school and literally just send a whole bunch of grim, a whole bunch of like white fame members. They're not gonna. They're still kids. It's. They're not thinking, oh, this big group's gonna come with a whole bunch of grim that are higher level can come wreck our school when, during a vital festival. We're not gonna witness, um, uh, for Team Ruby, and I mean Team Juniper kinda knew her, but more Team Ruby, just watch their friend get torn to bits, Penny. Oh wait, did we just lose Pure Up Ruby? I mean, Team uh, Juniper and Ruby took a hit from that, but Ruby watched it. They're not get, they're not prepared for that. They knew the danger, but they weren't properly trained yet. They were still in school. They were still 17, 15 year olds, okay? They weren't prepared for that. Of course. <sighs> okay, um. <clears throat> All of the uh, remaining Ruby members should be mad like Yang. No. We can understand where Yang is coming from because she's the one who lost her arm and then when she woke up, Blake wasn't there. Sure. Sure. Yeah, no, that that's points where she could be mad. I can see that and I understand it because Yang lost something that made her her. Of course she's going to be mad that the person she trusted and was willing to literally throw herself into danger's way to save left without a word. Uh, go and listen to All That Matters with the lyrics and you'll understand what I'm saying. She, she's not really even like mad mad. She just doesn't know how to feel. She wants to have, you know, Yang, uh, she wants to have Blake in her life, but she feels like she's been betrayed and abandoned like she was with, like she was with Raven. And we can, that's, that's understandable. We know, we can get, know why she did that. You know, it's like, same with Blake. We know why Blake ran and we can understand where Yang is coming from. That doesn't mean Weiss and Ruby, who had nothing to do with that moment, should hate or blame Blake. In Ruby's character, she tries to see the best in everyone. And she loves her team. She's not going to be like, oh wait, you were also hurt and you felt like all of this, all of that was your fault. She's not going to be like, I hate you for it. She's going to be like, I want my team back. I want my team back. I miss them and I want them back. Weiss, she cares about her team. They're more family to her than her flippin' brother or father. She cares about them. And she gets it. She's had, a, she's had fights with Blake, but she's resolved them, so she knows. She understands. She's not going to sit there and lie to herself so that way she can seem mad. Ugh, okay. Oh, yeah. So, um, yeah. He, um, in this video, like, well, in the video again, like, he mentioned Ruby's a wench. Ugh, I'm sorry. I, had, I, I wrote that down just because, you know. Oh, and then saying she's lonely by choice. Okay. There's a point to that. No, there isn't. <laughs> uh, lonely by choice? <laughs> Please explain. Literally, if Adam and, like, the whole, uh, Fall of Beacon didn't happen, she totally would still be with her friends. I'm talking about post-ending of Volume 5. She would still be with her friends. None of that would have happened. She would have stayed with her the people she cared about. Literally, because something bad from her past came and, like, literally damaged someone she cared about and pretty much, like, killed hundreds of people and made us- the, the police- she started to feel like she, it was home, fall. That's why she left. She felt that if she was near anyone, especially after Adam threatened everyone and everything she loved, that if she was near any of that, it would be gone. Because Adam has now openly threatened it. That's not by- well, if, that, that's where it turns by choice. But without that context to it, she would have never chosen to be lonely. She would have chosen to stay with the people she cares about. You know what I mean? Like, there's always choice to it, yes. But that's not the full, full thing. That's not the full story. You really need to take that into context. And if you don't, and that's why you hate her character, just because she chooses to be lonely, and because she's, <clears throat> I'm just, okay, sorry, swearing, <clears throat> because she's bitchy, 
you're deciding that you hate her. You're not trying to think, oh, that's what her situation is. It's like if you go back to volume one and just uh, hate on Weiss because of her attitude and then ignore all the development she gets after that. It, it's the same thing. Really think about it. <sighs> okay, allowed um, back into the group with no consequences. So, we don't know that. We have volume six, volume seven. We have literally more volumes to see what the consequences are. In the moment, in that moment of all of them finally seeing each other again, Yang, she wants Blake to be with them. She wants Blake back. She just doesn't know how, if she can fully trust her. She's conflicted, but she knows she does want Blake back into the group. And we know Weiss and Ruby want her back. Just because in that moment she was accepted back with seemingly no consequence doesn't mean there's going to be no consequence. I wouldn't put it past the writers of Ruby to have a conf confrontation between Gang or Blake or something like that. Like uh, in Volume 2, Chapter 7. I, I can see that. And I'm hoping for it. Just because in that instance, she there was nothing said to her about it and she was just led in the group doesn't mean there's going to be nothing. That's just you thinking poorly of their writing. Oh, wait, you pretty much stated that with Ruby. Never mind. Um, like, with all those people saying what's wrong with Ruby, or this is where Ruby left its uh, chosen path and they've messed it up. You're not the writers. You weren't the creator. Where do you think you have really the full right to say they went wrong anywhere? It, it just means that the show's not going in the direction you wanted it. And not all, sh not many shows are ever going to fully do that. There's always going to be one wrench in it that you're like, oh, I didn't really want that, but okay. Because if you love it, you're going to love it. You're not going to be so picky the where you're like, that was wrong, that was done poorly. You know, because I honestly love Ruby. There's, of course, moments where I'm like, I, don't, I didn't want that to happen or I kind of wish they didn't do that. But I'm not going to start hating the show. I love it. I love Ruby. <laughs> and that's like where I stopped. Because um, I couldn't take, I, I, I ended up finishing watching the video, but I, I like, just couldn't write, write anything else down. But I love Blake. She's one of my favorite characters. I love pretty much all the characters. You know, the villains, they're good villains. As much as I despise them, but that just means they're good villains. Uh, and, you know, Ruby's r well written. Blake's well written. They're following their characters. They're being true to life. Just because not all people have the way of coping like Ruby, just cause, not because like all people have like the same thought process of Blake, doesn't mean they're poorly written characters. You may relate with one other, a, a different character and not them, but other people may relate more with them than others. And that's what's good about making videos on them, even if the people who have a different opinion see it and kind of get mad, is that, you know, it gives the people who do feel that way a way to be like, oh yeah, I understand that, oh, that's true. And like when there's another video with a different opinion, the people who more uh, agree with that opinion can be there too. I'm not saying they're wrong. No one's opinion is wrong unless it's on something really messed up that really shouldn't be a thing. That's the only time I feel anyone's opinion is wrong. But, you know, like, hating a character, the only time I'm gonna say your opinion is wrong is if you say a fact that's false. If you say something that's literally made up, that's where you're wrong because that's just you using some false information or false fact to make your point seem more valid. That, that's when I get mad. <laughs> um, cause yeah, I, I, I take things I love really personally and that's really why I make these videos sometimes. If you ever want me to talk about something and if I actually genuinely have opinion on it, it won't like be based off like someone else's video. It won't be me ranting about how someone's opinion's different. It'll be me ranting about my own opinion. And um, yeah, I just personally love Blake, I love Ruby, I love Yang, I love Weiss. All of them have good have had good development and they still, I can see it in the future, will have better and better things. Just because Ruby is one person who likes to keep things in, I can relate to her there, doesn't mean she's had no development. Just because it's small and progressive, showing good story because it's building up her progression, doesn't mean she has none. 
just because Blake in the past kept running doesn't mean she's going to run forever. Just because you think she's sh she's shameless doesn't mean she's shameless, because seriously, she's so many moments where she's pretty much just like, I hate myself and I hope everyone else hates me too. That's not shameless, that's pretty much her being like, yeah, no, I hate myself too. I hate all these decisions. The only time I feel happy is when I do something good, but the moment I like run away from it, nope, I'm, I hate myself for it. I think we're about to end of the video. This video is, I hope, a little bit shorter than um, Ruby's. I don't know. I, have, I haven't seen it in a bit. But yeah, I know this is different. I know this isn't a reaction, which means it's probably good because I can't make this channel based only on reactions, can I? If I can, you can leave that in the comments. So yeah, I hope you like this video. I, whether you agree or not, please put that down in the comments. Um, be nice about it. I'm weak. <laughs> uh, I probably could take a bit, honestly. Um, because I love these characters. I love them so much. Um, so when people call them messed up things that I believe you should never call a person in general, I will get mad and I think it's valid. You wouldn't want someone calling your mother some messed up thing or like your really close cousin or sibling something, would you? That's how I take it. It's weird. My light turned off. It's really weird to think of it that way, but it's how I take it and... I I don't care how weird I am for that. It's It just hurts when people do it. But yeah. Thank you all for tuning in. Um seriously, if you ever want me to talk about something, I will try my best to talk about it. Um if you do want to see all 19 minutes and something seconds of the hate video pretty much. Um I'll just put the link to the video. Um, maybe not immediately, so if you check it immediately and it's not there, it, it should be eventually, but I, I need time. But yeah. Sorry that it's getting slow now. But I love her. I truthfully do. Not just because she's a faunist. Not just because she loves books. But because of who she is. She sees that she's doing these faults. And now she's trying not to run from them. She's trying to own up to it and make it make a difference make a make something better you know what I mean it's not all about hate or disdain it's, it's you need love there to actually work something out I've been I'm like so into talking about Blake my tablet died but you know I love all of them I can't say that enough <laughs> and I truthfully think you all should like even if you dis don't like someone as much as the other you shouldn't put them down and um you know i may not like cinder but i shouldn't put her character down just because of the things she's done in the story that make her her character you know just because yes she killed Vera, um and yes she um almost killed wise doesn't mean i should hate her <laughs> it just should mean I should appreciate her character for what she is. Anyways, I'm going to stop ranting here because I feel like I could keep going, but I shouldn't. So yeah, um, please give your thoughts in the comments down below and leave a like if you agree. And if you disagree, you can leave a dislike, but please leave a comment. Uh, if you're going to dislike it, I would like to hear why. You know, other than just like for the heck of it or just because you disagree with the, my opinion on her, leave a dislike, you know what I mean? feel like you should at least give me that much because then it kind of validates it I don't know <laughs> I like hearing people's opinions whether they differ from mine or not <laughs> but yeah no subscribe if you want more like this too you know more reactions more randomness more rants whatever seriously just leave it down in the comments and maybe I can do it see you guys hope you have a great day or night bye